In this episode, we're gonna take a bone stock 24 valve VP44 powered Cummins, and we're gonna double its horsepower. What we did is we put out a call. We wanted to double the horsepower of somebody's VP44 powered truck. This is a YouTube competition. We had users submit videos and the YouTube audience voted on their favorite truck. The winner gets to come here to our shop and get their power doubled. The winner came all the way across the country from North Carolina all the way to Cedar City, Utah. How's it going? <laughs> hey, you made the trip. How you I doing? Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Jared? Jared, yep. Jared and this is Wade. Wade. And you brother. are brother? Yep. Ben. Ben, Ben. Filmmaker. The, film. the guy who shot the film. Yep. It's got some miles on it. 300,000 on a stock injection pump. Got 250,000 on a stock transmission. Wow. Well, let's burn this tranny up. Let's, let's get this truck in the dyno. See what it makes. We got a, the, the competition is whatever power this truck makes. We're going to double it. We're going to show you guys how to do it. So let's get it on there. See what kind of power it makes in stock form. And let's turn it up. So the first thing we got to do is get this thing dyno to see what the power it makes. Uh, we want to measure both horsepower and torque, so we got to calibrate this truck, meaning we're going to get this thing at 2,000 RPM in overdrive with the torque motor locked up. That way it knows the RPM of the engine so it can calculate both torque and horsepower. Make a guess. 250. 250. Uh, I'll say 230. 230. 270. 270. Power is 182. 186. 186.2. Torque 428.1. 428. So 186.2, which is a 235 horsepower truck at the crank. So 186 to the ground, pretty much what we'd expect. So 186.2, double that, 372.4. Let's make it happen. So the first modification we're going to make this truck is we're going to swap the transmission. When we double the power, this transmission in this Dodge truck will not live a very long life. We could burn it up pretty good here, but it might take a week or so to do, so we don't have that time. So we're just going to swap it out, put one of our power-driven diesel transmissions in this. That's going to hold the power. It's going to last a long time. <laughs> Tell me about this transmission. How's it going to help me put the power to the ground and keep putting it to the ground? The big problem with a Dodge stock transmission is the torque converter. That, that has a lockup clutch, a single disc lockup clutch is in the Dodge torque converter. And those on our dyno start slipping around 550 to 600 foot pounds of torque and you start slipping that transmission. You can see it in the graph, it just gets wavy. It climbs and it gets wavy, you can see it's slipping. So a stock torque converter is not going to handle the power after here. And so we needed, we needed a better torque converter. And diesel performance converters out of Georgia hooked us up with a super awesome triple disc torque converter. This is way overkill. There's, there's way overkill for a 400 horsepower truck, but we wanted to give you the best there is. So this is a super, this is, a, um, this is like a 2,000 horsepower converter. You can put a ton of power to this thing. And also, um, an input shaft. You know, a, when you do a triple disc torque converter, the lockups are instant. It grabs and it just grabs now. And you start breaking your input shaft. So these performance converters also gave us this Aramid input shaft. And if you follow the alloys of input shafts, there's 300 amp, there's Mirage, there's all kind of different metals. And Aramid is about as good as it gets. And so this is a, and it's not more expensive. He's found a way to get this alloy very reasonably priced. So this transmission here is good for over 800 horsepower. Now that's way more than we need for this build, but it gives Jared, you know, opportunity in the future to hop up his engine a lot more without worrying about the transmission. 
if your goal is simply to get around 380 to 400 horsepower, a simple torque converter change and a valve body will get you there. So you're talking around $1,200 to $1,500 for a valve body and a torque converter that'll hold that power. As long as your transmission's in good working order, it's not terribly expensive to add a few parts to all the power we're gonna make. But for Jared, we went crazy. You got a build output shaft, we're doing a flex plate, all kinds of stuff. We've done all our modifications internally for this thing. This is gonna be rock solid transmission for him for a lot of years. It's gonna be great. Super excited, man. I can't wait to see what it does. The big problem that uh, VP44 trucks have, it's well known, is fuel pressure issues. If you run too low of fuel pressure, you tend to burn up your pump and it's an expensive thing to replace. So you want to make sure you have adequate fuel pressure to your pump. The, the stock fuel lift pump is great at stock power levels, but if you start putting big injectors, tuners, things on your truck, you're going to run that thing dry, say bye bye to your VP44, hello $1,500 repair bill. So it's really important to have enough pressure and volume to your pump. And this is the brainchild, this is the invention of Tony. Tony works here at Powered and Diesel. And he saw the problem of lift pumps and he came up with this. This is an amazing item. And Tony's gonna tell you a little bit about why we went this route. So the problem with the electric pumps is that they are plagued with short lifespans. Even the aftermarket ones that you know are advertised to flow a lot don't really do it over a long period of time that we found. So I felt the best solution was an all mechanical belt driven setup using a modern drive and modern pump technology to get us to the flow um, and of course pressure that we're looking for. What kind of pressure do you need in a truck like this? Typically on a VP44 you don't want to exceed 20 uh, but you want to maintain 12 to 15 and um, one of the features of this pump is that it has an internal pressure regulator valve. So we can set this up to work in concert with the stock overflow valve on a VP44 to maintain that pressure range without delivering too much flow, but also maintaining enough flow at lower RPM that you get the pressure you're looking for. So eight, you know, 15 to 20 PSI, what kind of PSI range is this pump good to work up to? Uh, this pump is actually designed to work uh, continuous duty up to 250 PSI. Later on, we're gonna release a series of these pumps for P-pump trucks and also a large pump for performance applications supporting up to 1800 cc injection rate. And those will run, you know, the higher pressures that you typically see in that application. But uh, yeah, this will live a very easy life at 20 PSI on a daily driver application like this. All right, so we got the pump in and now we're just putting the belt on and doing the final adjustment on the drive. The pump installs using the front four oil pan bolts. Okay, we have now upgraded the truck to where it can handle all of our power upgrades. We've got in the transmission. That thing's gonna rip, it's gonna last. We put in our fuel pump so we can know that the pump is gonna have enough pressure and flow for whatever fueling upgrades we need. So now it's time to start making some power. Let's play with the fuel. First thing we're gonna do is throw some injectors in. So the injectors that we wanna use on this truck are the Power Driven Budget Builder 7x9 SAC SAC injectors. What's really neat about these injectors is there's a lot of 7x9 VCOs in the market. They're everywhere. But a SAC injector is actually a little bit more efficient, a little cleaner burn, maybe a little bit better fuel mileage. So the first thing we're gonna do is put these injectors in his truck. Uh, we want to see how much power you get from in a fuel injector only. So we'll, we'll put the tuner on, but we're not going to run any tuning at all, just the factory program with the injectors. Then once we see how much power we get from that, we'll start adding programming in to see how much further we can push this thing. Speaking of programming, this is what we're using. We're using the Quadzilla uh, tuner for this truck. This uh, comes with the iQuad right here. And what this does, this allows you to run uh, your phone or something through a Bluetooth connection to the actual tuner itself. Uh, for this truck, we actually provide a monitor for this. And on this, you'll see we have the screens already here for the Quadzilla. This is to your maps, to your tuning. Uh, has a dash cam, has Google Maps and other apps you can put on this. This is like a mini computer. And when you buy this from us, we actually load our tunes for your truck on this monitor. And then you can easily tweak them for your truck. Every truck's different, but you'll be really close with the tunes that we provide on this monitor. Uh, this little gadget here is very handy. This allows you, so when you turn on your truck, 
turns the monitor on. When you turn it off, the monitor turns off, so you don't have to be worrying about, any, about anything like that. But you do not need this. You can use your phone to run this as well. So you have a couple options here. All right, we have the fuel components. Let's get these guys in that truck, get this thing on the dyno, and let's make some power. Okay, we've got our fueling upgrades done on this thing. We have the MBRP exhaust, we have an intake, we've got the Quadzilla tuning ready. So we're gonna see what this thing does now. We're gonna start with uh, no tuning at all and see what kind of power we get from just injectors only. Then we're gonna jump up to a kind of a high power tune and see where we get to. So we'll start with that, let's go. By 240 horse for the first run. We're gonna, that was no added tuning. Now we're gonna put some tuning on it and see what happens. So that run with, was tune number seven on Quadzilla. We got to 336 horsepower, 808 foot pounds of torque. Now we're gonna go to Quadzilla's top level, number 10, see if we get any more power. Um, at this combination, here we go. So once again, we have hit 336 horsepower. We've hit it about 10 different times, all different combinations. 336 is all this thing's got in it. We're gonna swap the VP. We're fairly certain now the VP44 it just not, does not have enough volume to make the power we want, so it's time for a pump swap. It's now about one in the morning. Um, we put the new pump on, didn't make any more power. That sucked. We were kind of curious about why the boost number was so low on the monitor. So we drilled and tapped the intake horn and put a mechanical boost gauge on it. And we noticed that the, the monitor is about 10, 5 to 10 PSI below the actual reading. So we're wondering if maybe the MAP sensor is holding us back. It's not allowing it to fuel because it doesn't think it has a lot of boost. Too late to get a map sensor, so we found a guy. We knew he got the truck. We sent uh, one of our employees over there, and we stole his map sensor. We're going to see if we can make some more power. We're going to start out mid-level on the tune, Quadzilla tunes, nothing custom. See what we get. Here we go. Okay, we made some more power. Hey, we're now at 354 and 978 foot-pounds of torque. So we definitely picked up some power. That was tune number five of Quadzilla Tuning Nothing Custom. It's our highest one yet. We're gonna go to tune number seven. There's 10 total, we're gonna go to seven. See if we pick up a little more power. We're making some more boost on the turbo and uh, Let's see if we get a little bit more, uh, little more tuning. Same number. So we're at where he got with the turbo, huh? Yeah, same number. We could try some timing now with our custom tuning. All right, so let's see what this one does, huh? Oh my 
gosh, we are, we are 0.8 horsepower away. <laughs> all right, all right, we got it. We are 371.4. We need 372. Point. What the heck did we need? 372.2. I think we're 0.8 horsepower away from doubling this thing. I thought we'd have to get a bigger turbo to do it. I think we can do it with a stock turbo. With the custom tuning, we picked up 20 horsepower over the Quadzilla. And so that's nice. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Three seventy three, we did it. We done. <laughs> okay, so the map sensor really helped us out a lot. We got a lot more boost now on the monitor and it's fueling a lot harder. Uh, we got up to about three fifty four with the adrenaline tuning and then with the custom tuning we pushed that up to three seventy three. So we passed our goal of doubling the power of this truck by 0.6 horsepower. So that's pretty cool because I was actually nervous we wouldn't be able to do it with the stock turbo. This stock turbo is a 54 millimeter turbo. The inducer is tiny, so it's pretty cool we were able to actually get that power with this tiny turbocharger. So it's neat that you can actually double the power of this truck with the stock turbo. So yeah, let's go racing. So this is going to wrap up our double your horsepower 24 valve Cummins video. Huge thanks to Jared Palmer for being willing to drive all the way from North Carolina clear over here to Cedar City, Utah. The guys at the shop were really personal, really nice, made me feel at home. Uh, had a great time. They really did a good job. Uh, had a great time at the track. It was definitely put down a lot more power than it did about a couple days ago. A lot more fun for sure. When Jared's truck showed up to our shop, it made 186 horsepower. When we were done with our modifications, this truck did 373 horsepower and over 1,000 foot-pounds of torque to the ground. Now we had some help in this project. A big thanks goes out to Quadzilla for the tuner, uh, MBRP for the exhaust, and diesel power converters, the torque converter and the billet input shaft. These guys really helped us out and made this truck possible. I hope this video was helpful to you guys out there looking on ways to up the power of your VP44 power truck. To help you out, we put a link in the description of this video that will take you to all the products used in this video so you can know how much it will cost to do this to your truck. So be sure to subscribe to this channel, share this video, leave a comment, give us a like. We want to hear from you, we want to talk with you. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.